Stress-induced cardiomyopathy is also called broken heart syndrome. It's a condition where the patient comes in with complaints of severe chest pain, sometimes difficulty breathing, and occasionally a feeling of fainting or passing out. Some portion of the heart muscle gets suddenly weak, and as a result, it is not able to pump blood adequately. This is typically seen in older women. In the majority of cases, there is a severe precipitating event such as emotional or physical stress prior to the patient feeling these symptoms. And when we talk about mental stress, it could be the death of a relative, and it could also be a severe argument with a spouse or a family member. So it is believed that severe mental or emotional stress causes a release of certain stress hormones within the body, and these can sometimes cause effects on the heart, which leads to weakening of a portion of the heart muscle. The condition is very similar to how a patient comes to the hospital with a typical heart attack. The only way to distinguish between the two is if a person has a cardiac catheterization. When you have an ultrasound of the heart or an echocardiogram, we see this appearance where one portion of the heart, usually the bottom of the heart, does not squeeze as well and sometimes enlarges. The most important thing is that most people with this condition will recover within one to four weeks. Women should realize that once they approach middle age and especially after menopause, their risk of heart disease increases significantly. I always try to stress to my patients and spend time explaining to them how important it is to modify their risk factors and to promote a healthy lifestyle.